Okay, it is officially over. I am done. I am through collecting comic books. If you want to know why, stay tuned. Hello to all my comic book collectors. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. You heard it right. I am through collecting comic books. But that doesn't mean that I am done with comic book content and the comic book hobby altogether. I still love comics. I will still read comics. I am just not going to be spending any more time or money trying to collect back issues. Today, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why I will no longer be collecting comic book back issues. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll probably know that I haven't really purchased any new comic books in a really, really, really long time now that I think about it. I think it's been over two years since uh, I've purchased any new comics. I mean, I've picked up the odd issue here or there if I, if, if I was at a con or something, but um, I haven't been buying or collecting comics like I have in the past, that's for sure. And one thing I've noticed is I'm actually a lot happier now that I'm not collecting comic books. I hope I'm not angering anyone with, with this because I know a lot of people take pleasure in collecting comic books. Um, and, and I took a lot of pleasure in collecting comic books as well, but I think I really had to take a step back and realize the reason why I was collecting comic books. I've been into reading comics since I was probably 12 or 13 years old, and I started collecting comics a little later on in life, probably in my um, later teens, early 20s, some, something around that. I'm, I'm, I'm 31 turning 32 this year now. So I've been in the hobby for a while, and I will always read comic books. I love comic book stories. I love the art. I love a lot of the characters, but I'm really enjoying the hobby more and I'm really enjoying comic books more than I'm not collecting comic books as odd as that sounds. I think the reason why I collected comic books in the past was like many other comic book fans for nostalgia but this is going to sound strange because most of the comic books I own were published way way before I was even born but I've always been interested in history. Um, I actually studied history uh, in my uh, undergraduate years and I absolutely loved it. I really felt that reading a comic book that was published during a time when I didn't exist really kind of gave me insight into that time period. I would love, love if time travel were, were real. I would be the Marty McFly to get into the DeLorean and literally go and visit each time period because I'm so interested in history that way. Now, since we know that time travel isn't real, or is it? But since we know that time travel isn't real, I felt that collecting comic books for me was the next best thing. I love looking at the ads in comic books and seeing how our society has come along and, 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 and looking at what was popular at different times and the ebbs and flows of pop culture. I liked smelling comic books. Every comic book from every different age has a different smell. It was great. Let me know in the comments if you're a comic book sniffer too. I know you are, just let me know. I certainly never collected comics for investment. And all the comic books that I have, I probably will never sell because I just, I love them so much. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to be buying any more. And here are the reasons why. Reason number one. Let's start off with the most obvious reason. Comic books are just way too bloody expensive now. I remember back when I started collecting comics, you were able to find some deals on some pretty cool books, uh, whether it be on eBay or at uh, cons or even heck in some comic book shops every so often. Now it is just way too expensive and it's getting really, really ridiculous. I was at a comic con with my wife uh, back in the fall and uh, I was just floored at what some of these comic book dealers were trying to sell comic books for. It was just stupid. So for example, I'm thinking this one dealer was selling She-Hulk number one for something like 300 Canadian dollars. I was like, what? Now, mind you, I do not keep up with comic book prices that closely anymore, but from what I can remember, um, She-Hulk number one is not really worth that much. 
Okay, I pulled out my Overstreet comic book price guide. Mind you, this isn't the latest edition, but um, it is the edition that came before the latest edition. So I'm sure the prices are not too far off. So if I look over here, the Savage She-Hulk number one from February 1980. It is the origin and first appearance of the She-Hulk. A near mint 9.2 is valued in this book at 65 US dollars. Now, I know Canadian money is not really worth as much as US money, but I certainly know that 65 US dollars does not convert to 400 Canadian dollars. So that is why I was totally floored when I saw the Savage She-Hulk selling for like three, four hundred dollars, whatever the heck it was. It was it was a stupid amount. I mean, I would spend maybe fifty dollars on the book, sixty at most, but definitely not more than a hundred bucks, that's for sure. So I took my eyes off the wall because those were just way too expensive for me. So I started looking into the back issue bin and I found the Deathmate series for 30 Canadian dollars. And if you don't know Deathmate, it is probably the biggest piece of shit book that has ever been published in the history of comic books. I actually have it, and the only reason why I have it is because I got those books for 25 cents a piece back when I bought it. So 25 cents to $30 Canadian, what the hell? So I think I made my point. Comic books are just stupidly inflated nowadays. I don't know why these prices are going up so much. I, I really don't know. If you know a little bit more about that, please let me know in the comments because again, I haven't really been following the comic book bar market that closely, but uh, it's, just, it's just getting ridiculous. And eBay, if you go look on eBay, it's really not any better. Now, if you hop on eBay and you really watch it really, really, really closely, you might find someone who just wants to really get rid of the comic book at a fair price. But overall, the prices on eBay are not that great anymore. They were at one time, but they definitely are not anymore. Reason number two, when I was collecting comic books, I was spending more time worrying about collecting comic books than I was actually spending time reading them. I remember getting packages with comic books in them, and even before I had the chance to open up and start reading them, I would be looking for other comic books to add to my collection. It was just insane. And the whole reason why I got into this hobby to begin with was to read comic books. And that is also how I ended up with a huge backlog of comics that I have not read yet. If you haven't seen the video where I show and share with you my collection of backlog comics that I still need to read from years ago. Check it out, the link is in the description. Are you guilty of that too? Come on, be honest. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people that spends time, more time looking for comic books than you do actually reading them. Reason number three, trade paperbacks are actually a lot less expensive than looking for back issues and they're a lot more accessible and on top of that, they're a lot more durable. I have pretty much converted exclusively to trade paperbacks because I find that I'm actually enjoying reading the story and enjoying the art more in trade paperback form because it's a whole run of comics in one volume and it's just great. And on top of that, I'm not even really worrying as much about being careful with the trade paperback. Now I'm not going around being totally abusive towards the book, I'm very careful with my books, but I'm not worrying as much about the condition because trade paperbacks overall are a lot more durable than back issues of comic books. And for the most part, I don't keep trade paperbacks in bagged and boarded. I cannot tell you how annoying it was in the past to be reading a comic book, getting to the end, seeing it say, see, find out what happens next issue, having to take it, put it back and it's bag and board, take out the other one. Well, it was just a pain. It's really just a lot more fun to have the whole run, the whole story, whatever, on your lap and just reading it like a normal book. On top of that, did you know that most libraries nowadays actually carry trade paperbacks? You don't even have to go out and buy them. You can just look at libraries that are in and around the area that you live in and Nine times out of 10, you can find the story that you're looking for at the library and you can read it for free. Heck, that's what I've been doing. I have been devouring trade paperbacks like crazy because I've found so many at my local libraries 
and I'm just reading them one after another. And again, it's free. I just, did I mention it's free? I, did I mention how excited I am that it's free? Reason number four, I'm enjoying the hobby a heck of a lot more now that I'm not spending so much time worrying about collecting comics. And now that I'm actually enjoying reading trade paperbacks more, it's just so enjoyable. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more relaxed. I'm, I'm not worried about the next issue or looking for more issues. It's just really, really enjoyable now. And I'm enjoying the stories a lot more. I'm remembering the stories a lot more because I'm paying more attention when I'm reading and I'm saving a lot of time too. And lastly, reason number five, I am saving a heck of a lot more space now that I'm not collecting comic books. Uh, I know some of you are probably gonna reach out to me in the comments and say, hey, you really wanna save space? Switch to digital. I'm not there yet. Don't know if I ever will get there because I, I'm the kind of person that needs to be re reading something in my hands. I can't read something off of a, an e-reader or a tablet or, or whatever. I need the physical copy in my hands. Um, call me old fashioned that way, but that's how I am. But again, I'm saving a lot of space. I'm not trying to figure out how to store these comic books effectively without damaging them. Trade paperbacks, just stick them on a shelf. Most people have bookshelves in their house. So I'm just filling my bookshelves with trade paperbacks. And again, the rate at which I'm getting trade paperbacks is a lot slower because like I mentioned, I'm getting a lot of trade paperbacks at the library. So if you wanna enjoy comic books a heck of a lot more, I would encourage you to just stop collecting comic books. Try trade paperbacks. Try going to your library to read trade paperbacks. It's really a lot cheaper, saves you a lot of time, and saves you a lot of stress and money on top of it. Now, if you're into collecting back issues because you eventually intend to flip them, then yeah, by all means, keep, keep buying back issues. And I know there are a lot of people out there that are able to find deals and get back issues away heck of a lot better than me. There are some people out there that, I see them on Instagram. I have a lot of you as friends on Instagram and some of the stuff that you showcase on your Instagram account, it's just amazing. So either you're great at finding deals or you're like rich or you're taking out lines of credit for it. I don't know, but it's amazing. And I know there are a lot of people out there that are just way better at buying comics than me and I have no problems admitting that. But me, I'm just an average guy and a lot of you watching are probably just average guys who want to enjoy comic books too. So I would encourage you to just stop collecting comic books and check out trades. I really had to take a step back when I decided to stop collecting comic books because I really said to myself, you know, I'm not collecting these for any financial gain. I don't plan on ever selling them. So, you know, what's the point? And I have most of the books that I like that I can realistically afford. So that about does it for a video today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you all in the comments. Let me know, do you think I'm crazy for not buying comic book back issues anymore? Or do you think that I'm making a smart choice? Please let me know. And as always, if you like videos like this, Check out the channel for other videos on topics related to geek culture. And if you're not already subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Get down there, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a like. It really, really helps me out. Until next time, this is Dante D. I will see you all in the next episode.